Good night, my people. <clears throat> How are you doing? Well, we are on the follow-up of Takeoff Case, and I must say thanks a lot to the police force in the United States who have made every stop to arrest the culprit or alleged as killed take off. Right now as we speak, I am about to let you hear what the police officers had to say. They have arrested two persons in custody and one is alleged the killer. So, with no further ado, I will let you hear what the respectful police officers have to say about the arrest. Stay tuned. We will be right back. everyone, uh, Chief Fenner, I'm here with Mayor, and Mayor, thank you for the support. Um, we're here to announce an arrest, but before, before I do that, uh, I always start with that human element. I spoke to uh, Takeoff's mother early this morning, and um, my prayers, and I ask that all our prayers continue to go out to her and his entire family, his close friends, the city of Atlanta, and all of Takeoff's fans. Um, around the world. We lost a good man and I didn't have the pleasure of meeting him. But everybody, the hundreds of people that I, I talked to uh, spoke on what a great individual he was. Um, we have a special relationship with the city of Atlanta. I want to make sure that stays intact. I want to thank them, the family and everybody else for patience, allowing us to work uh, through the evidence and the facts, which is most important. Um, I also want to thank our investigators. Um, here today uh, is Sergeant Michael Barrow, um, Lieutenant uh, Barnes, Investigator Ross Watson, and also from the DA's office, um, Ruben Perez and Matt Gilliam, uh, who's worked very hard on this case. Uh, all of our individuals, um, our, our divisions, our homicide division, thank you. Um, people don't know the hard work that they do behind the scenes, the number of our hours that they're away from their family members. So um, also the gang division, our federal partners, FBI, um, state partner DPS, and ATF. Everybody took a role um, in this investigation. We stood here uh, a little bit, I think a month ago, maybe a day or two, and made a promise that we would get the individuals or the individual that's responsible uh, for the murder of takeoff in custody. So yesterday evening, we arrested Patrick Xavier Brown, 33 years old. He was charged with the murder of takeoff. Brown was arrested again yesterday evening in the 14700 block of Sterling Green uh, Boulevard. It's located on the east side of, of Texas. I'm sorry, of, of Houston. Uh, again, Joshua, Cameron Joshua, 22 years old, was arrested on November the 22nd for felon in possession of a weapon. I'm going to turn it over to the mayor right now, and uh, after that, um, we're going to bring up the investigators and then the district attorney's office and then um, Commander Garcia will translate for us in Spanish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. And look, let me thank uh, your entire team and all of your law enforcement uh, partners uh, that have been working on this case. Let me thank the, uh, 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 the uh, prosecutors from the DA's office. I really appreciate their, pro um, their, their presence and their work. And I've certainly realized that the work even continues in, uh, in this case. I do want to point out the fact that uh, over the last month, I've had um, uh, several conversations with the mayor of Atlanta, I mean, Andre Dickens, kind of keeping him 
advised of this investigation and what was taking place and talked with him as late as yesterday evening uh, to apprise him of what would be taking place uh, uh, today. Uh, look, it was about a month ago and when we stood here um, uh, as a team to discuss the shooting death of Kirsten Kyrie Bob Ball, uh, public members take off, we all know must take off, a talented entertainer and part of the Atlanta based group, the Mikos. Um, I do also want to acknowledge Councilman Edward Pollard, who is with us uh, this afternoon. Um, but in more than entertainer, he was a son, a brother, cousin, and a friend and a mentor to those in the music industry. Uh, at that time, we also asked witnesses to help police identify takeoff's killer and prevent more violence from happening in retaliation. I am glad that a suspect has been arrested and charged with takeoff's death. Uh, it certainly, I think, will bring some comfort to the family, though it does not bring a takeoff back. Um, this is a significant step towards seeking justice, and I hope it also brings uh, additional comfort to all of those who love takeoff. Over the past few weeks, Chief Ben and I were asked often about the status of the investigation. Uh, the chief kept me informed about uh, the information that had been received, the evidence that has been collected, including the videos, uh, the video that was being reviewed. Uh, I want to express my regret and disappointment uh, that this was a case of another a young man uh, taking the life of another young man for no for no reason. Uh, the gun violence uh, everywhere, not just in the city of Houston, has to stop. People are dying for little or no reason, and people are reaching for a deadly firearm uh, to settle sometimes a minor disagreement. But pulling a firearm can have um, deadly consequences uh, that you cannot undo. And so I'm glad that uh, an arrest has taken place. Uh, that we do have someone uh, in custody. Uh, um, it is unfortunate. It really is unfortunate um, because it does not bring takeoff back. But to Chief Finley, to you, to your command staff, to the investigators, to the DA's office, to all the partners who helped, to those who provided tips, information, uh, let, me, let, me, let me thank you and then um, look forward to this um, investigation and prosecution continuing uh, on this matter. Thank you, Chief. Let me step up and make a quick correction on the uh, name. I had a misprint on my notes. Uh, it's a Patrick Xavier Clark. 33 years old on um, the rest of the suspect, okay? Come on, Sarge. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Sergeant Michael Burrow with the Homicide Division. Uh, the Chief was very gracious in recognizing a lot of the partners that we were involved with in this case. I did want to recognize a couple of other people uh, or organizations that helped a lot uh, with the investigation. Uh, the Houston Forensic Science Center, um, our lab rats, so to speak, uh, the people that do our forensic analysis, they work behind the scenes a lot, they don't get a lot of recognition, and they helped us answer a lot of important questions in this case when others would not. Uh, that includes our firearms section, our latent print section, and our crime scene unit. Thank you. Um, quick note, just, uh, I know there's going to be a lot of questions about uh, the investigation. The investigation is still ongoing. We still have a lot of people that we're trying to locate and talk to. So we will be a little bit short on details here. We probably will not be able to answer all of your questions. But I can tell you, uh, to confirm some of the speculations out there, the event was a private party. Um, there was a lucrative dice game that went on at the event. There was an argument that happened afterwards outside the bowling alley, which led to the shooting. I can tell you that Takeoff was not involved in playing in the dice game. He was not involved in the argument that happened outside. He was not armed. He was an innocent bystander. Um, some important case factors, uh, you know, the, the chief was, uh, was mentioning some of the, the timing here. I mean, we've boiled it down to over 30 people that were standing outside. We have an exact number, we're not going to put that out. When the shooting happened, um, literally every single one of those people left the scene without giving a statement to police. We found some, uh, a few of them that night, we found others since then, uh, but it's important that those people come forward and we're still looking to talk to a lot of those people and we will be looking to find you. It will be easier if you come find us, it will be easier for you, it will be easier for us as well. Um, you know, essentially we had to rely on 
a large volume of video surveillance evidence that came in and cell phone videos and audio, things that surfaced over time in some cases that weren't available immediately. We had to sift through all of that and use physical evidence and use shooting reconstruction and confirm uh, a lot of our ballistic evidence, uh, what weapons were involved, things of that nature. And through that, we were able to deduce that Patrick Clark is the lethal shooter in the case. And that's why he's being charged uh, with murder. Thank you, sir. At the DA's office. Thank you, Chief Langley. Bureau Chief of the Special Crimes Bureau. My bureau was in charge of this investigation at the DA's office. I want to thank the prosecutors in my bureau for working extremely hard, and I really want to thank the HPD organization for all the work and the collaborative effort they put into this case along with the DA's office. And I also want to thank our federal partners uh, for, for their help. And I want to thank everybody who was involved in this case. Uh, I want to echo what the mayor said. I want to echo what uh, Chief Finner said. And I want to echo, uh, echo what the investigator said, that it took a lot of effort, a lot of work, a lot of patience. Uh, but um, we, we arrested this defendant. We look forward to prosecuting this case, and um, I want to send our sympathies to the family, and uh, we look forward to prosecuting this case, and we'll see everybody in court. Thank you. Muy buenas tardes. A nombre del jefe de la policía, Troy Finner, y del alcalde, Turner, le queremos dar las gracias al público por su asistencia en esta investigación. Eh, hace algunas horas el jefe de la policía le habló a la madre de nuestra víctima y le dio las noticias de que en efecto hemos arrestado a la persona responsable por este crimen. El individuo se llama Patrick Javier Clark de 33 años de edad. Uh, fue arrestado anoche. El 22 de noviembre también fue arrestado una persona de interés en este caso. Uh, no creemos, uh, no sabemos su... su papel es exactamente, pues se llama Cameron Josh, de 22 años de edad. La evidencia, gracias a la cooperación, tanto del departamento de policía, incluyendo a la división de homicidios, a la división de pandillas, nuestros compañeros federales del FBI y de la ATF, nuestros compañeros de la Procuraduría del Condado de Harris, y a muchas otras personas que participaron en esta investigación, Les damos las gracias por su cooperación. Esperamos que la ciudad de Atlanta y los compañeros fanáticos de este individuo uh, tengan un poquito de, de alivio de que esta persona fue arrestada. Uh, en conclusión, le damos las gracias a, a todos los que nos dieron información y a todas las personas que participaron en esta investigación. Muchas gracias. We're open up for questions. Chief, uh, you know that Kevin Johnson and Josh was already arrested. And you see his picture. Here on the scene, and he was in possession of a weapon. He's a felon. Okay. So did Mr. Clark lose the dice game, or was that like a motive of this? Uh, we're still investigating that, and we're not uh, able to discuss it right now. Just just the dice games. Can you talk some more specifics about how you actually connected um, Mr. Clark with the either the gun or whatever? Yeah, not not today. Uh, when the time comes, we will. Right. Was it uh, Joshua's gun that was used in this crime? We're not going to discuss that right now. Still active in the investigation. We told you, and uh, um, just not a whole lot of details. The main thing right now. Uh, he's in custody, um, and he's arrested, and he's charged for, for this murder. Still some work to be done on it, uh, but we're not going to go in, in any farther than we've already went on the investigation. Um, Chief, you, you guys have often talked about the fact that in this case, too, there were so many people on scene. They don't come forward, they like, leave, and, and you guys had to sort of work backwards. Um, were, were there any witnesses who were helpful, or did you basically have to construct all of this from the... I, I can tell you. Yeah. I can tell you it's outstanding um, uh, investigative work on this. Not a lot of help for people coming up and stepping up. But um, I don't want to judge them. Um, but they do need to come in uh, because we know who was on the scene and we will be uh, contacting and reaching out and finding those individuals. Uh, this is a murder. 
And uh, if you left because you were afraid or whatnot, I don't know the motivation. But you do have to uh, um, um, come forward and, 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 and give us some information. Um, and that could come through grand jury opinion as well. So. Was Tango the intended target, or was he at the wrong place? We already, yeah, you know, it's definitely wrong place at the wrong time. Um, no evidence whatsoever to uh, uh, say anything different. Go ahead. I'll get you. Peacefully, uh, could you tell us about African African I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, Peacefully, could you uh, tell us about African Oh, yes, yes, the, the, the actual arrest of him. Yeah, Peacefully. Um, we, uh, and I'm not bragging, but I, I sent this, this message to uh, our, our criminals. We don't come and get you. And um, we come and get you professionally, but we come in force with everything that we have. And uh, he, he gave up, and, and I, I want to say thanks for that. Okay, nobody's hurt, nobody's injured. Go ahead. As a, as, a pickup, as a bystander, can you say at all where he was situated in terms of where the gunman was? was it no, we won't go in, into it, uh, but he, he was actually on the scene, and then we all know it. There is some video out there, but uh, we're going to stay away from specifics right now. Go ahead. Was Clark invited to the party? Did he know takeoff? We don't know, yeah. Was Mr. Chief, Clark, Chief, has Patrick Clark admitted to the shooting? Not uh, not going to discuss that right now. Go ahead. Was Mr. Clark involved in a shooting in 2018 at a club where someone was killed? That's part of the investigation. I mean, we'll get it out to you. Yeah. Do these two Go reside ahead. in Houston? Who? What's, what's two? Houston, right? Two. Yeah. Well, um, one, um, but uh, one of them has a residence uh, outside of Houston. Do you expect more suspects out there? Uh, we don't know. We're not going to uh, uh, outrule anything. Uh, we, we're going to go where the facts and the evidence lead. And remember what I said, suspect or suspects, and we're going to leave no stone unturned. Uh, it's, it's, and everybody family deserve that. Um, and, and, and I want to say this, and we're going to probably do just a few more questions, and we're going to leave. we got work to do. Uh, any individual that's killed in our city, it's tough, and it's tough on the family and tough on their friends. Everybody deserves an investigation, but the, um, the investigator said it. We need people to step up to do your part as a citizen. And if you see something, you need to say something. Uh, um, don't let the fear par paralyze you. Step up and say something. Uh, and, and, and we're all better and safer for the, because of that. One more. Chief, was, was he about to flee or leave town? Is that why you guys moved here last night? Or what can you tell us about? Uh, I don't want to go into any details on that, but we, sus we, we, su we suspect you. Uh, we'll have our eyes on you. Can I ask you a question? This is uh, national, if not the world, story. One message is number one, um, you can come and commit murder in this city and expect to not get caught. Quite frankly, um, guns will kill. And if you use uh, a weapon, uh, um, in the heat of the moment or whatever the facts may be. If you fire it, it can, you can have deadly consequences. And then someone can either be seriously wounded or someone in this case, like Takeoff, can lose his life. And you heard the investigator say he was an innocent bystander. Uh, but regardless of whether you are an individual that's um, a celebrity or you're not a celebrity at all, uh, we are going to investigate every case mm -hmm. with the greatest degree of intensity, utilizing all available resources to find who the person was or who the persons were. The other point that I will make is that if you have 30 people that are in that setting, um, and one of those persons, for example, in this case, like was take off, uh, was killed, Everybody else has a responsibility to contribute to finding out who did it. Um, so I don't give anybody an out. If you were there and you saw something and you know something, you don't get a pass. Everybody has to take up responsibility. And then lastly, I would simply say there are just too many young men. And, and I'm going to be a little bit more specific. There are too many young men of color who are killing other young men of color. And that has to stop. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Thank this you. is unfortunate. Uh, you have a young man, I think they're 33 years old.
is the suspect here. And takeoff was under the age of 30. Okay, so all families are impacted in this situation. But if you commit a crime in this city, uh, we are going to expend all available resources to find you. Okay. All right. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Lilacom and Patrick.